Good day, this is JNN Weekday News. I'm Lafayne Wigan. Here now are the top stories. In light of the controversy surrounding Queen's Counsel Velma Hilton's appointment as a commissioner in the West Kingston Inquiry, the Governor General Sir Patrick Allen has accepted a request from Ms. Hilton to be excused as a commissioner for the impending inquiry into the May 2010 police military operation in West Kingston. The Governor-General's decision was made public in a statement from the Office of the Prime Minister, OPM, today. Hilton was named on February 24 along with Chairman Barbadian Sir David Simmons and former Appeals Court Judge Hazel Harris to judicially investigate the incident that left more than 70 people dead. Since the announcement, the parliamentary opposition has opposed Hilton's inclusion owing to comments she reportedly made while serving as a lawyer for the 2002 inquiry involving West Kingston. According to the Office of the Prime Minister, Hilton wrote to the Governor-General affirming her definitive wish to be excluded from appointment to the membership of the Commission on the Tivoli Inquiry. The local fire department has stated the island's largest dump in Riverton City is operating without an independent water supply, which is a prerequisite for landfills in other jurisdictions. This is another shortcoming for the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA Managed Facility, which is said to be also operating without several environmental permits. The Jamaica Fire Brigade's Public Relations Officer, Emilia Banks pointed out that the landfill is without this commodity, despite being located in an area of St. Andrew near a river. Ebanks added that the NSWMA needs to build a catchment or storage area, which could be facilitated by the nearby river. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, reported on Monday that after two days of coordinated activities of the National Response Team, the fire and smoke nuisance are now under control. Meanwhile, the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, could be forced to curtail some of its services as a result of the fire which started on the Riverton City landfill in St. Andrew on Sunday. Executive Director of the NSWMA, Jennifer Edwards, in a statement highlighted that the agency is preparing a preliminary estimate of the cost for extinguishing the fire. Edwards said she's hopeful the local government ministry would be able to assist in paying the bill for equipment rental, purchase of material and overtime associated with the emergency. Edwards further stated that if the ministry is unable to find the funds, the NSWMA would have to reallocate money from its own budget. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management says the authorities might not be able to completely put out the fire until Thursday. Fast-growing food and drink distributor Caribbean Producers Jamaica CPJ is to adopt the Glenhoe Place of Safety on Maxfield Avenue in Kingston. The adoption will be formalized on Thursday, March 20, during a tour of the facility by Minister of Finance and Planning Dr. Peter Phillips, who is also Member of Parliament for East Central St. Andrew, where the home is located. Senior executives of CPJ, including its Executive Chairman Mark Hart and Chief Revenue Officer and Head of Marketing and Sales Dr. David Lowe, will also tour the facility with the Minister. The facility caters primarily to female wards of the state between the ages of 12 and 18 who have been removed from their families as being in need of care and protection or who have committed an offence. In sports, the Caribbean Premier League CPL has announced the return of the six West Indies icons who will be spearheading their franchise teams in this year's competition. Chris Gale, Karen Pollard, Dwayne Bravo, Sunil Narine, Darren Sami, and Marlon Samuels will all return for, an, for another highly anticipated tournament. After thrilling fans with their newly adopted teams last summer, the six stars will be hoping to bring home CPL glory in August. Gales, T20's most outstanding batsman, will return to the Jamaica Talos, whom he led to CPL triumph in 2013, while Karen Pollard will rejoin the Barbados Tridents. The other players will represent their native islands as well. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lefane Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.